Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. So today we are continuing the Spooky Bracelets series with this beautiful candy corn bracelet. Now this bracelet is advanced. I've been getting some people requesting that I do beginner bracelets, but there really isn't like um, a design like this that's going to be beginner. It's all going to be either intermediate or advanced, which I'm sorry that that might suck. For some people, but for those of you that are more advanced, this will be fun for you guys. Um, I recommend to those people out there that are beginners and are wanting beginner bracelets to at least try an intermediate one. They really aren't that hard. It's just a lot of strings and a lot of steps, so it can get kind of complicated. But you never know until you try, so I recommend just trying it out, seeing what happens, whatever. I also wanted to kind of let you guys know that... So some of you probably know that I have been sick for three solid weeks and I missed three solid weeks of school um, and I have a lot of work that I have to make up right now so um, I'm probably not going to be posting as much. I'm going to do my best to still make time to film and to edit and stuff like that but if you don't see a video from me for like another week that's, that's why <laughs> um, my education comes first. Not like necessarily a break, just kind of like taking a step back for a little bit and not posting as much. Um, but I mean, who knows? I, I will try and make time to film, so who knows how often I'll be posting. I don't really know. I just need to get my work done and then we'll just go from there. Again, I have an FAQ in the description like always, so if you have a question, it's probably going to be in the FAQ. So check that out before you ask it. And also my social medias and stuff are in the description box. If you guys want to follow me, you guys can do that. And yeah, let's just get into this tutorial. So to make this bracelet, you're going to need four colors of embroidery floss, three colors for candy corn, which will be yellow, white, and orange, and then one color for your background color. I'm using black. For your candy corn colors, which are orange, yellow, and white, you're going to cut one string of each color at a wingspan's length, and then go ahead and fold those in half. So then once they're folded in half, you should have two strings of each of your three colors, so six strings in total. Then for your background color, you're gonna cut three strings at a wingspan's length of that and then fold that in half to start. And then once it's folded in half, you're gonna cut one more string that is the length of your strings folded in half. So you should have seven strings in total. Now just join your two groups of strings together and you can start this bracelet however you want. I have a more in-depth video which is always linked in the, in the description if you're confused. Once it's started, this is how your strings should be set up. Black, yellow, black, yellow, black, orange, black, orange, black, white, black, white, black. That was really fast, but <laughs> yeah. So normally for one, two patterns, we'll leave the outer two strings out every other row, but since this bracelet is an odd number of strings, we're going to leave one outer string out each row. So we're going to start the first row by leaving the right outer string out, and then the next row we'll leave the left outer string out. You guys will see later on, but to start off... This entire first row is going to be forward backward knots. We're not going to include the right outer string in our pairs when we're doing this. Alright, so for the next row, I'm going to bring the right outer string back in and then repair all my strings, but this time leaving out the very left outer string. And this entire row is going to be all backward forward knots.
Alright, so for the third row, I'm going to leave the right outer string out and not include that and bring the left outer string back into my pairs. My first pair on the left is going to be a forward backward knot. My second pair is going to be a backward forward. And the rest of my pairs for this row are all going to be forward backward knots. For the next row, I'm going to bring the right outer string back in and then leave out the left outer string. My first three pairs are going to be forward backward knots. And then my remaining three pairs are going to be backward forward knots. So now we're going to leave the right outer string out and bring the left one back in. And I accidentally did this row going from right to left instead of left to right. Um, so I'm very sorry. I was just losing my mind while I'm doing this. So, <laughs> But starting on the right side here, I am doing a forward knot on the first pair. Um, and then my next pair here is going to be a backward knot. And then my next three pairs are going to be backward forward knots. And then finally, the first pair on the left side is going to be a forward backward knot. If this row confused you, I have written out the instructions in the description box. So if you want to read the instructions from left to right, this is row five. So you can check that out in the description box. If you're confused, I'm really sorry. Now for row six, we're going to leave out the left outer string and bring the right outer string back in. And my first three pairs here are all going to be forward backward knots. And then my remaining three pairs are going to be backward forward knots. For the seventh row, we're going to leave out the right outer string and then bring the left outer string back in. The first pair here is going to be a forward backward. The next three pairs are going to be backward forward knots. And then the final two pairs are going to be forward backward knots.
For the eighth row, we're going to bring the right outer string back in and leave the left outer string out. The first three pairs are all going to be forward backward knots. And the remaining three pairs are going to be backward forward knots. For the ninth row, we're going to leave the right outer string out and bring the left outer string back in. I did this row right to left again. I'm very sorry, but the correct directions are in the description. But the first pair on the right side is going to be a backward knot. And then moving towards the left, the next pair is going to be a forward knot. The next three pairs here are going to be backward forward knots. This is me realizing I went right to left, <laughs> but the last pair is going to be a forward backward knot. So for the 10th row, we're going to leave out the left outer string and bring the right one back in. The first three pairs in this row are going to be forward backward knots. Then the remaining three pairs are all going to be backward forward knots. For the 11th row, we're going to bring back in the left outer string and leave out the right outer string. My first pair on the left is going to be a forward backward knot. Second pair is going to be a backward forward knot. Then the remaining four pairs of this row are going to be all forward backward knots. Then finally, for the twelfth and final row, we're going to leave out the left outer string and bring the right outer string back in. And this entire row is backward forward knots. And yeah, that is basically how you do this candy corn pattern. So just go ahead and repeat this from row one until it's long enough to fit around your wrist and you have your beautiful candy corn spooky bracelet. 
Alrighty guys, so that was the tutorial. I hope you guys all enjoyed this. And as you can, you guys saw in the beginning, this is what the finished product looks like. And like always, the pattern and all of these steps are listed out in the description box as well. So if you don't want to rewatch this 15 minute long video over and over again, you can just read the steps in the description box. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys make some pretty awesome bracelets. And if you want, you can always post your creations on Instagram and just like tag me. Like I literally see everything. So if you want to show me what you make, I'd love to see it. So yeah, I love you guys and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.